Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll uh, take you through Commercial Arithmetic 1. And for this, this particular lesson, we'll be, we'll be covering uh, the concept of commission. So we want to see what commission is and how to solve problems involving commission. So we have a few questions. So we have a few questions on commission to help us demonstrate how we can solve problems on commission. And of course, at the end of the lesson, you have some assignment to help you with practicing. And just to check on your understanding of the concept as, discuss, as, as uh, we're going to discuss during this lesson. So what's commission? So commission is an agreed rate of payment. Uh, maybe you you intend to sell an item and then you sell it through an agent who would want to be paid out of this exercise. So you can agree on a percentage, maybe 1% of the, the selling price of that item will go to the agent. So you agree on the rate of payment. What is the percentage that you're going to give me if I help you sell this house? What is the percentage of, 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 of the selling price that you're going to give me if I help you sell this land? So you see, that's what we're calling agreed rate of payment. Now, this is usually expressed as a percentage of the selling price of the item. And it goes to an agent who, offer, who offers their, their services. You know, maybe they sell an, an item on behalf of the owner, you know. So there must be an agreement between the owner of the item and the agent so this is expressed as a percentage maybe two percent of the selling price maybe three percent if it is maybe something like a car it could even be four percent you know of the selling price of that particular car so let's look at the few examples that are here so we have somebody here miss Nyango, who sold goods worth twelve thousand shillings at a commission of five percent how much commission did she get? So the, the agreed rate of payment here is 5%. That if I help you sell, you know, it could also be a, a shop attendant. At, at so you agree if you sell uh, goods worth any amount, I'll be giving you 5%. You know, this is basically done to motivate either the shop attendant or the agent to be more aggressive, you know, to be more determined towards ensuring that at least some sale is done, is made, you know. So how much commission did she get? So commission in this case. Will be. 5% of of total sales. So 5% means 5 over 100. So you multiply by 1000 mean 12,000. So what is this going to be? So this zero cancels this. This one cancels this. 5 times 12 is 60. Then you add the one zero. So this is 600 shillings. How much commission did she get? 600 shillings. Now, there is a salesman who earns a basic salary of 9,000 shillings per month. In addition, he is also paid a commission of 5% for sales above 15,000 shillings. In a certain month, he sold goods worth 120,000 shillings. 
at a discount of 2.5%. Calculate his total earnings. So the individual's total earnings should be equal to commission plus the monthly salary, you know. So we'll have to start by calculating commission. So commission in this case is 5% for sales above. So anything below this, there is no commission. So you have to get the excess of, you know, the excess of 15,000 in 120,000. So that is going to be 5% of so 120,000 minus 15,000 which is going to be 5 over 100 we multiply by 100 and and 5,000 so this cancels that and this cancels that then you have 105 by 5 is 525 then you add the one zero so commission is 5000 5250 so let's get the total earnings Should be equal to commission, which is five thousand two hundred and fifty. You add to the salary of nine thousand. So the total earnings here will be fourteen thousand two hundred and fifty shillings. There is also a salesman who gets a commission of 2.4% on sales up to 100,000. He gets an additional commission of 1.5 on sales above this. Calculate the commission he gets on sales worth 280,000 in a shilling. So we have to get the first point four. So it is the first 2.4% of 100,000. So this is 2.4 over 100 times 100,000. So this cancels that. So commission will be 24. Then you add two zeros. Because the one zero here will be used to remove the decimal point. So 2,400. Then we have second. Uh, so additional 1.5. You'll add 1.5 to 2.4. To give us 3.9. So 3.9% of 100 and, uh, 180,000. So 180,000. That is additional 1.5% on the sales above 100,000, which is 180,000. It's 280. What's above 100? What's above 100,000 is 180,000. So this will be 3.9 over 100 times 180,000, and we get. 
so 0 and goes with that 0 this one cancels that and so I have 3 9 multiplied by 3 so that is 7020 7020 shillings so total commission so to, uh, calculate the commission he gets so total should be 2400 by 7020 and this should be nine thousand four hundred and twenty. So we have uh, a few questions here to help you practice and just to help check on your understanding of the concept you know as was discussed as has been discussed during this lesson so you can always attempt and you post on the on the, on the feedback section you'll be able to look at them and give feedback in the due course otherwise that is all for now till next time goodbye